Welcome back guys and ladies to another beer review. Uh, next beer up is uh, one I picked up from Tesco's for £3. And there's a certain Jonathan Brown from Northern Southerner Beer Reviews who is going to be quite excited to see the opening of this beer. Uh, it's one he had a little bit of trouble with <clears throat> and we've had a little bit of banter between ourselves. And uh, I, he, he, like I said, he's quite looking forward to me opening this one, I'm guessing. Uh, might not be so happy if it doesn't explode, but never mind. So, <clears throat> yeah, next beer up is from Goose Island, from Tesco's, £3. And it's a bottle of their Matilda Belgian-style ale. 330ml bottle coming in at 7%. Uh, they've tried to do the old traditional style label. I mean, it's kind of inoffensive. Doesn't quite hit the mark for me. But I do love the bottle. Lovely shaped bottle. Goose Island embossed around there. It does look good. Excuse me, just had my tea. <laughs> uh, Goose Island bottle cap as well, which I really like. Don't have a Goose Island Belgian style ale glass. So uh, I'm going to go with the old Affligem one. Hopefully as well, being wider at the top. It may... Uh, Help disperse the head, shall we say. So, uh, here we go. The big thing now. This is the big one. So, uh, get ready, JB. And everyone else. Let's see what happens. Yes, that it pretty much done the same. It was a little bit lively to start, but I did manage to rescue that one. Yeah, up yours, John. Got you on this one, boy. <clears throat> and with the glass as well. Uh, it's it's spread the head out so the head isn't too too ridiculous so now I've managed to win the battle of opening the Matildas with uh, JB god how much is in there uh, <clears throat> we'll get on with the beer review uh, I do like a Belgian ale I'm expecting this to be kind of yeasty maybe a little bit fruity floral uh, probably expecting to taste a little bit of the old, uh, the 7%. Uh, they're not bad at hiding it, but you do tend to get a little a tinge of it. <clears throat> it is saying on the bottle, it's uh, 26 IBUs. Uh, by the way, if I actually said it was 330 mil, it's 355 mil. Uh, that tends to be what the American breweries put their beers out in. 12 fluid ounces so uh let's have a look in a glass to me that's a lovely hazy caramel color there's a finger of foam a creamy head creamy head that isn't going anywhere that and a moving uh there's quite a bit of carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass uh not sure if this is nucleated this glass but uh let's dive in on the nose see what we get cheers Oh, big caramel sort of notes in there I'm getting. Caramel banana. Yeah. Not getting any yeastiness in there at all. Very unlike, uh, <clears throat> sort of like the Belgium style. This is like banana, caramel. It's sweet. There's no sign of any alcohol in there. It smells absolutely gorgeous. I'll tell you what, if this tastes as good as it smells, I'm in for a treat. So let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Mmm, that's nice. First thing I noticed is <clears throat> the sweetness on the nose. <clears throat> you don't get that straight away in the taste. You do get a sweetness there, but you kind of get a... Uh, how can I put it? You get a bit of a tang to it. It's almost a bitter taste in there, but I have just finished off a, a double punk IPA, so maybe maybe that's something to do with it. Hmm. Lovely smooth mouthfeel. Carbonation is <clears throat> almost non-existent really, to be honest. You do get some in there, but it, it, it's very minimal.
body on the beer is probably <clears throat> it's probably a little bit a little bit above average uh, for, for the sort of Belgian style ales you know I'm, I'm going to compare this to a blonde uh, for me it's going to be blonde so the body for me is 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 pretty much average maybe a, a, a tad better than some blondes I've had there's you're still sort of getting that banana caramel notes in there for me but it's maybe not as as sweet as you'd expect uh but it's that's really enjoyable i do like that i gotta admit now it's got this funny sort of tang to it somewhere. I'm not sure what, what that is. I'm not sure if that's the beer that I've had before or not really. But that's nice, that's enjoyable. There's a there's there's a spicy Spice, spice notes in there somewhere. I'm getting that sort of on the back end. This um, contains live yeast sediment. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Five years. This can stay in the bottle for. Fair dues. Yeah. Uh. A really nice, easy drinking ale, really. I'm going to kind of guess it just tastes slightly different because that lack of yeastiness in it, or, or it's different yeast to the Belgium, Bel what you know, what all the uh, the left and all that is. Uh, <clears throat> but but really enjoyable drink to be fair I quite, I'm enjoying that I'm enjoying that a little bit different but enjoyable nonetheless and the fact that you can keep it for up to five years I suppose that would depend on when it was bottled bottled on the uh, 12th of June 17 so there you are yeah so it's 20 now. This is over three years old already. Uh, lovely drink. Lovely drink. Uh, if you like your Belgium ales, this is that something a little bit different that you can pick up in the supermarkets. Well worth a try in my view. Three quid. Yeah, I know you can get left and you can you can get a few different lefts, can you, for three quid in a really big bottle. That might be the only thing where you might say, oh, well, I'm not having that. But... Worth a try if you like your Belgian males. Uh, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Like I say, that was £3 in Tesco's. Uh, and that's it for another beer review. So if you're having a cheeky one, enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to enjoy finishing that. Uh, like, share my videos, subscribe to my channel. YouTube and Facebook, all the beer, no idea. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, all the beer, no idea, one. Uh, and that's it for another beer review. Probably be my last tonight. Uh, I've got, can you believe it? I've got a bloody, I've got three quarters of a keg of left ritual. Uh, I was op hoping the in-laws would come around. They were supposed to come around last week. Uh, excuse me. So I didn't worry about it too much because I know they like it. So I thought it'll go <coughs> down to five days now. They were supposed to be coming this Saturday. So it would have been well and truly polished off. But they're not coming now. So I've got three quarters of a keg of left really to get uh, left ritual to get through. So uh, I'm having to do a little bit less on the old uh, reviews. And tucking into that. Uh, obviously if I do too many reviews and tuck into that. I ain't going to do much work. So uh, 
that's it anyway. Long story, blah, blah, blah. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Please, 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 anyone that hasn't subscribed and does watch, I want to get to the big 300. So if you can just push it 10 more, I need. So, and then I'll leave you all alone. So thanks very much, everyone. And I'll see you again. Another beer review very soon.